Hey guys, I get a lot of questions here at Gearhead Works about how to install the Elzetta tape switch with the TMF. It doesn't really work with the Magpul tape switch holder that uh, a lot of people are using because it fits so perfectly on the TMF. The Elzetta switch has this loop that's made for zip ties. They're made to slide in like this and then wrap around something, but we can't really do that with the TMF. But I found a way to do it where you can use the zip tie loops, mount it to a TMF, it ends up being a real clean installation that's really solid, and you don't have to buy any additional uh, pieces or parts to accomplish it. So when you get your TMF, the end cap will be on uh, loose. I do that so that the screws, the Loctite on the screws don't get set. I let the customer set them for the first time. So you'll want to take it apart. Now all the tools you need to do it come with the TMF. You got your two size Allen wrenches and if you get an LZ light it comes with the zip ties. The only other thing that you're going to need, this is a piece of wire coat hanger and I've cut it out and I've bent it so that it's just slightly longer than the slots of the TMF. And notice both ends of the wire point the same direction also. If you have one of them pointed up, it's going to hit the plastic of your gum when you go to install it. So you want them both pointed down when the uh, installation is complete. So this is the only additional piece. Chances are you got something like that laying around the house. It doesn't have to be a wire coat hanger. You're just looking for something that's rigid that can span across all your slots. Um, I've actually used washers. Uh, the washers posed a little bit different problem though. The, the piece of wire worked better for me. So to start, uh, you wanna run your light into the cap. Slides right in there. I like to uh, set the cap all the way down and then just pull it out ever so slightly. Snug these bolts. They don't have to be super tight. The way this clamping mechanism works is it does a lot of, doesn't require a lot of bolt force to really hold that light in there. That thing's a super strong mount. All right, so now our light is in the cap. The tape switch won't fit through the back hole. That half a half a M lock slot is just too small. But that works out because I like to run mine through the front hole anyway. And what that does is it allows me to use up all the excess wire by moving to the front of the TMF before going out the hole and make, letting the switch go backwards. So your wire ends up doing a zigzag. But if you tried to run it out the back, you'd have this loop of wire you'd have to do something with to keep it away from your barrel from melting. So. I run it through the front slot. Now, if you notice, this wire already has kind of a kink in it. Um, this was actually my display gun for shot, and I had to take the TMF apart to be able to do this video and show you how, how I do the install. Now, we've got a wire through the slot. This is how the Elzetta tape switch was meant to be done. The zip ties go through the slot this way and wrap around something. Well, we can't do that with the TMF. So what we're going to do is actually turn your switch over. Make sure that your zip tie is offset going up. And you want to poke it through one side of the hole like this. Stick it through so far. And then wrap back around and go back through the other side like this right here. So you're gonna actually end up with both ends of your zip tie pointed towards the back of the tape switch. All right, and then we're just gonna keep that there for right now. We're gonna, what they'll do is both ends will end up going through that little M-lock slot like this. The front one here it's, it's a little bit of a pain. You gotta hold the wire bent over, but I found that if you start the zip tie, get a little loop started like this, and then pinch it and stick it through the slot, 
like that right there, you want the tails of your zip ties to be pointed up. So that way you can tighten them up once you get done inside. And then slide your loop of the zip tie over the end of your wire. You want to get it all the way up into this rubber grommet area that's got a little ledge there that's designed to hold the zip tie. I'm going to go ahead and, and cinch this up a little bit tighter now. Now I don't want to go all the way because I've got to get my um, coat hanger in there. So now I'm going to stick the coat hanger in. Remember to flip it so that the point goes down. There. So you can see I got my coat hanger through the zip tie with the wire doubled through it and the points going down. Now you want your coat hanger to also go inside this piece of this zip tie in the back too. Okay, so we got our wire coat hanger through the front zip tie. The zip tie is around the double over wire. The coat hanger wire is inside the rear zip tie. Now we want to get the wire in the rear zip tie too. So now the zip ties are holding the coat hanger and the actual wire for the pressure pad. And what that's going to do is keep that wire secure so there's no chance of it getting to your barrel and getting hot. So once you get everything together, you can start uh, tightening down your zip ties. Now this rear one, you're going to have to kind of feed through your switch, you know, looping it back over here until you get it all the slack taken out. So that looks pretty good right there. And then I'm going to come up to the front, make sure it's on the, the rubber grommet still there. Tighten that one up. So now you got a little bit of fore and aft movement there, but you can maybe get some of that out of it. It really doesn't move much once everything gets together. All right, so after you get everything tightened up, you want to trim off your excess zip tie. All right, so now see how your wire is all tidy inside it's not going to get close to your barrel it's staying there your tape switch it can't move it's solid now all you gotta do is take your flashlight and lay it back over and attach the cap now remember when you're doing your cap on a tmf to always start the bottom screw first and then do your two side screws Get everything started before you tighten anything down. You may have noticed the holes are slightly elongated on the sides. I do that on purpose so that when you get the front one in, it positions it. So if there's any looseness left, the uh, elongated holes will help you avoid any cross threading. Just the little details that I've put into it like that to help prevent any kind of issues. All right, once you get them all started, tighten the bottom one first. That draws the cap all the way down because like I said, those holes are slotted. And then hit your two side screws. And that's it. You've got an, an LZ Lite tape switch installed. Didn't have to buy any kind of tape switch holder. And it's on there really solidly. I've been running it like this for a while now and I've not had any trouble whatsoever. It keeps the wires really nice and neat, keeps it away from your barrel. You got no chance of anything getting hot and melting there. So if you got any more questions, you can always email me at info at gearheadworks.com, but I think this is going to answer everybody's questions on how to do it. Thanks for watching guys.